Hey what's up guys this is Akshi and today we have with us Domain Racer personal web hosting service and we are transferring my WordPress website from Namecheap to Domain Racer. So this guide will allow you to transfer from one cPanel to another cPanel. So all you have to do is just go to the soft calculus WordPress manager, which is I think on almost 95% of cPanels and just click on the W icon. Uh, when you click on W icon, uh, you can select the website you want, expand it and click on backup. It's, uh, it is that simple, but it's not actually because that's why we have this video here. Make sure to click on backup directory and backup database. This is a super important step, my guys. Please make sure to attend this. Click on backup installation. So it takes time. So I've already downloaded the zip file and extracted it. Uh, now I extracted just for one thing because we want to make sure we have the SQL file as well. Uh, and then you don't need to extract. You can just upload it to the file manager. So we will come back to the, that step. Uh, but now let's figure out what are the restore options. So we're going to go back to the Softaculous uh, install installer and there uh, we will click on uh, restore but we need to restore in the the domain racer right so in domain i will go to the domain racer c panel and i will go to the soft oculus and i will click on remote import now there are two ways so either you import from the server or from a remote server right so what i'm going to do is i, I tried the remote server i filled all in the details but it never works i tried a lot of things and i've done this several times i've transferred so many website guys it never works unless and until you have a vps with full access it never works so it's better we're going to script the remote part and we're going to use the manual method so just go to the file manager and upload uh, inside the public HTML. So inside public HTML, uh, you should have your domain name. If you don't have the domain name, just go ahead and click on add domains in the cPanel and you should get a folder here. Just upload the zip file here and extract it there and there itself. It is that simple guys. Once you have extracted the file, now go back to the soft Oculus and click on from this server. And you can either fill in the details or the better part just click on this detect installation which works flawlessly so i'm gonna click and as you can see congratulations the installation listed below have been successfully imported into soft Oculus. so you can import multiple websites in this like just drag and drop the zip files uh, extract it and you have multiple websites but you have an error here database connection failed as i said it's not always that simple so we're gonna go run through more steps in this video so let's do that so first of all, uh, we will log into uh, our domain racer cPanel, the one we are transferring to. Uh, let's go ahead and click on uh, PHP my admin. Now in the PHP my admin, as you can see, there is no database. That's why WordPress is not able to communicate. So the third step is to create a database in uh, my HP. A panel for that we're going to go to mysql database in the server we want to transfer to and click on create a database so we're going to create a database you can give any name you want but make sure to note it down so i'm going to click create database so as you can see i have created a database now so this means that under the php my admin uh, that should be listed so i'm going to click on refresh now as you can see the another database has appeared now we will go to the import section and we're going to choose the file we want to import i'm going to go to the extracted file and i'm going to select a soft sq dot sql whatever the file name dot sql and that's it just click on go it should import uh, it's going to take a while so till then we will do a further configuration uh, now in the database section in the softaculous uh, you can actually see the database name the username and the host so go ahead go to wp config file in your file manager click on edit and here if you scroll down you can see two things db name and db user and the third one is db password so we're going to fill this one so db name would be whatever database that you created for me is this one which is showing right now 
right so I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna create a new user first because we want to access the database from a user so we need a database we created a database we imported the data and now we're gonna create a user that can access that database so we will create a new user make sure you remember the password and make sure it is not leaked on the internet like mine did but basically the server gonna uh, be dismantled after this video so we're gonna click on create user uh, but I will wait because I want to put this in WP config file. So as you can see, import has successful. So at least uh, our database from uh, old website is here. Uh, now I gonna actually replace the password as well as the username. Now remember the initials, right? So there's initials in every cPanel. So make sure your initial matches with the new initials because some cPanel doesn't show the initials. So make sure to find that. Once you have the username, the password, uh, then you are mostly set with the WP config file, right? So we're gonna hit on save changes. And then we're gonna come back and create the user, right? Because we was waiting to copy the username. So we have created a user, we have imported the data. Now WordPress should be able to communicate with the database and our website should work, isn't it? But it's not that simple, guys. Let's check this out. So I will go to the Softaculous installer. Now at least it says up to date, which means we are doing it good. But once we click on login, we can see error establishing a database connection and this always happens guys i don't know what's wrong with wordpress the way it is made there's always some sort of issues with the database connection i have done it several times it's always there so we're gonna check if our data is there so i just go through uh, the database that we just created and the data is there right i'm gonna again edit the wp config file and you can find this in file manager again in the website directory where you extract it. Now we're gonna find uh, the WB debug section. This is super important because there could be multiple errors we don't know. So WordPress will tell us what's the issue. So we're gonna click on WB debug on, we're gonna click true and click save. You need to revert this afterwards as your wish. Uh, because it helps you debug now you can see at least it tells what is wrong so access denied for user to the database so it says that the database server could be connected that's why your username and password is correct but the, the user is not able to communicate to the database or the database is not able to be selected so either there's the user has some permission issues or maybe you have some wrong username that you have put in your WP config file so we're gonna go ahead back to the cPanel to see what is the issue here. And if we go to the MySQL database, and here you can see, uh, I have not added the user to the database. So there's an add user to database option. So we're gonna select the user, we're gonna select the database and click on add. Now it will ask you what permissions you wanna give. So I'm gonna give it all the privileges and we could save. Now let's see if that works. We're gonna hit refresh and voila, at least we have the website there. Now it, it says, oops, that page can't be found. So it means something with the URL. Uh, so because our domain has changed, so we need to fix that. So go back to the PHP admin and find options. Okay, so whatever database name underscore options, there you can see two options. We're gonna make sure to update the domain there. So we're going to update the domain racer domain here because I'm transferring to that domain. Uh, so site and home URL, I have updated these two tags. So let's update the loopy options. And let's see if this works. And we're going to hit on login. And there you have it. This is the WordPress dashboard that we're going to migrate. This is on new hosting now and the website will work. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.